This is the Riverhawk Report for Friday, March 26th, 2010. Baseball, the only game on the schedule yesterday, and the Riverhawks still struggling to get their bats going on a consistent basis. One day after battering Bentley pitching for 19 hits and 11 runs, UMass all was shut out by the very same Bentley ball club. 5 nothing was the final. The Riverhawks didn't get a hit until the 7th and managed just 4 hits in the ball game. The problem was Bentley right-hander, their starter, Rob Finnerin. Having a tough time, but that kid's pretty good. I mean, he's uh, he was an all-conference kid last year. Throws hard, locates, uh, gets ahead of hitters. And don't he didn't? I don't think he made a mistake today with any pitch, O2 pitch, you know, or, or anything. And if you can command your pitches like he did, he's, he makes it pretty tough on hitters. That's River Hawk head coach Ken Herring. Bentley starter Rob Finneran threw a complete game. He allowed just four hits. He walked one. He struck out 11. He was on top of his game. On the other hand, Riverhawk starter Ted Haley struggled. He was up in the strike zone. He clearly did not have his best stuff. The outs were loud. He was falling behind hitters. He wasn't getting anything over but his, his fastball, and that was, he was kind of pushing through the ball today, and he didn't have it. But he's a horse, and um, you know, we need to get him right. In a game like that, it's uh, you need to have him right, or it's going to, you know, things like that will happen. Trailing by four, the Riverhawks had their best chance to score. It came in the seventh. A one-out double by Jared Notagiacomo, his first of two hits on the day, and a single by JT Leary put runners on first and third. But a fly ball to left turned into an inning-ending double play when Notagiacomo was thrown out at the plate. Herring says his team simply was trying to manufacture some runs. I had to take a chance. I mean, Lane's got a good arm. They made a good relay. Uh, you know, Notagiacomo wasn't fast, but, uh, you know, it was one of those things where we had to try to make something happen and, uh, you know, we did, and uh, it went against us today, but I'd take that chance again. Again, 5 nothing was the final. The Riverhawks are now 12-8, and 1-3 and in the Northeast 10 Conference. They'll be on the road Saturday for two games at New Haven. They'll be back home Sunday at the Lasher Park, a single game they host Southern New Hampshire. Also on the weekend schedule, UMass Lowell Softball on the road. They're in New York State. They've got a doubleheader Saturday at New York Tech, then visit CW Post for two on Sunday. UMass Lowell Golf also in action. They're taking part in the Goldie Beacom Invitational in Newark, Delaware. That's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday affair. And that's the Riverhawk Report for Friday, March 26th, 2010.